Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your week ahead for the first week of April. Um, this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to thank you for your patience. I couldn't get them all done yesterday. I am doing private readings too, and I do have a life. So, um, I'm, my private readings are out till like April 24th. I don't know for how long I'm going to accept them for. So right now I'm accepting them, but I could stop at any moment. It depends on how overwhelmed I get with requests. Anyhow, um, so this is for Aquarius, first week of April. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You know, in my group, I, I, I have questions for people to get into my group. And one of them is, what is your sun sign? And a lot of people say, I don't know. Aquarius is your sun sign. Okay, if you're watching this, if unless it's your, I mean, it could be your rising, but those of you would know that if you're watching your rising sign or your Venus sign or whatever, your moon sign. But for those of you, you know, when people ask you what your sign is, that's your sun sign. Just so y'all know. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the first week of April. What do we have? I'm going to do the Celtic cross just for this one spread. I mean, for this one week. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, regular my regular way. I just decided to change it up a little bit. What do we got for Aquarius? Courage, confidence, willpower. Find that force within you to do what you need to do. You know, <laughs> Aquarius, you may be tempted to go down the wrong road. You may have to face some fears. Something is... Uh, hidden here. The devil is ruled by the shadow. The challenge is seeing things as they really are. Don't let illusions or fantasies or things that look really good or sound really good uh, impact you in a negative way, okay? You know, the challenge is discernment, basically. Be sure that what you are getting yourself into is really what you think it is. We're going to go back around after we do this. Ooh, you know, Ace of Ace of Cups. That's the overall outcome, love. That's love. That's an offer of love, a new beginning in love. You may have a new love coming into your life. Somebody that is very, very well suited for you. This person could be a little bit younger than you. They don't have to be, but they could be. If I got that, I do. Okay. So we could have somebody coming into your life. It's exciting. It's really, really, really exciting. I feel as though you have an opportunity to go down a new path right now. You may be sitting on the fence. You may be a little worried about it, you know. You may, you may be like, you know, this is very tempting. It is very tempting. You may be dealing with somebody who's very attractive to you. Very attractive. And you may feel vulnerable, Aquarius. You may feel vulnerable because it's so alluring, whatever this is. Be careful. You don't want to make any poor decisions here. Okay, you may you may have a lot of fear that you're going to make a poor decision. You may fear that this person's going to bring chaos into your life. You may just be scared to take that next step. Looks to me as though for some of you, um, you're afraid. You, are, I mean, this is like emotionally, uh, lack of emotion, a need to be more playful. Maybe you need to have a little bit of more fun. Maybe you need to, you know, let yourself have fun. Open up, open up that heart a little bit. Let somebody in. Here we have, you know, trying to be practical, trying to be responsible, you know, Take your time. You don't need to hurry in any way, shape, or form. It feels like, you know, the best things really take time. You, this is this is like you probably are wanting to go slow, and if you're and if you and if the other person's wanting to go fast, put the brakes on. Just say, you know what? Let's take our time. Let's get to know each other. Let's take our time here to build a foundation 
you know, we have to be practical, we have to plan, we have to be responsible, we have to be wise. You know, if you think about that turtle, the turtle and the hare, I mean, I don't know where that came from. I don't even know the whole fable anymore. I'm so old. But the fact of the matter is, it's better to be the turtle. It really, really is. You will win in the end. So I, I really feel as though you guys need to um, take your time. Take your time. Make sure that, you know, you're seeing things clearly. The ego, I mean the ego, that is the ego by the way. Both these cards are ego. But anyway, the um, the devil is represented by fears. And this the strength is overcome your fears. So we got some fears here. You may be fearful, Aquarius, of, you know, taking that step. You may be fearful of starting that new journey. You may fear, be fearful of opening your heart. But I feel like whoever it is that you're dealing with could be an earth sign, could be a fire sign, could be a water sign, could be anybody. Whoever you're dealing could be an earth sign. Look what's on the bottom. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pretty strong here. So whoever you're dealing with does have something, a big, solid opportunity for you. Whoever it is. Whoever it is that you're dealing with. This is a huge, huge, huge opportunity. It's something that is stable. It's solid. This person is a hard worker. They're very devoted, very loyal. Um, but they're very focused on their abundance as well. So if you're worried that this person can't take care of themselves, I'm here to tell you that they can. They can take care of themselves. Whoever you're dealing with is very self-sufficient, very hard worker, whoever you're dealing with. could This could be you taking on this energy as well, Aquarius. This could be you having a lot to offer. And, you know, maybe you're really focused on your job. Maybe you're focused on your money. Maybe you feel like you don't have time for this person because, you know, but you feel the attraction. There's definitely an attraction here. And I feel like in the past, you have probably been overly criticized and maybe even belitt belittled, okay? Maybe you've been in a situation where it was a lose-lose situation and you've come out of it, but there's still some pain there. There's still some lingering thoughts and feelings and whatnot. Um, you may lack self-confidence. You know, you need, to, you need to hold your head up high. You do. Don't don't let your, your fears of, oh, I'll never find success or I'll never get what I want. Don't even say that shit to yourself because this is a big opportunity for you. I know that it is. I see that it is. Opportunity for love. It is. With somebody that is very, very well excite, uh, suited for you. And I think this person is excited about the connection. I think this person is very um, playful. And they may want you to be a little bit more playful. We're going to clarify. The challenge is facing your fears. The challenge is not letting your ego get in the way. You know, your your fear perhaps maybe of getting bound perhaps. Um, <laughs> the other part of the challenge is make sure that you are, you know, using discernment here. Don't be choosing based on looks because this is a very attractive whoever you're dealing with is very very attractive could be you Aquarius whoever you're dealing with may see you as being very very attractive so there's definitely a very attractive person here that is uh, <coughs> I have to take a drink coming into your life <coughs> sorry about that um, so we're going to go back around. Oh, now she's in reversed. Imagine that. So you could lose the opportunity if you let fear get in the way. Don't let fear hinder you and cause you to lose this opportunity because of, you know, this. these are both rule. These both signify ego. They do. They do. So I really feel like if you if you let you know, and fear, ego is based off of fear. So if you let fear get in the way, you could lose a big, huge opportunity. Fear, perhaps, of love. I mean, I don't know. Go within. Follow your intuition at this time. Take all, like I said, just, just take the time alone. If you need to, you know, use silence as your tool, because this is what this says to do, to get the answers that you need, to get the answers that you seek, do it. 
go within and listen and you will get the answers that you need in regards to which path that you should take. You guys are afraid to start over. You're afraid. You're afraid to take that leap of faith. And, you know, you're afraid to take a risk. And it is time to take a risk. It's time to stand up for yourself, you know, and deal with any conflicts that come your way. I feel like you guys are don't want to deal with conflict. But wherever you're at, you know, you may feel like there's already too much conflict. You may be dealing with somebody that, you know doesn't respect your boundaries there's lack of respect here you know i really feel as though right now you need to take the power in your own hands and you need to protect yourself and you may need to take a risk um whoo, oh my goodness gracious this is unbelievable so I have to, I mean, this. what more can I say other than you have an opportunity to evolve, to, to make, maybe you need to make some compromises. This is an opportunity to come together with a soulmate, and that is no joke, Aquarius. That is no joke. You have an opportunity for a soulmate love connection, and I think that you really need to think about accepting it. You really, really need to go within. There's no doubt and become aware of, it. do you want this or not, or do you want to let it go? Do not let your fears get in the way. Yeah, you may need to make some compromises. Maybe you need to make some compromises on your work schedule. Maybe you, may, you need to make some compromises, you know, with other aspects of your life, but... You know, in the end, I think that you guys are beginning to realize that this is an opportunity that is really, really, really good. I think that you're starting to see the light. And I think that, you know, you're not the same person that you used to be. You're no longer happy where you were. You know that it's time for change. You know that it's yeah, this is divine timing. You are present being presented with a new road, a new path. And now you have and now I feel like you're really trying to you know, I think you're really going through a period of isolation. I think you're isolating yourself because this is a huge, huge, huge decision. I, th I, I think that's what this is. <clears throat> you may be shutting yourself down emotionally because you're afraid of change. You're afraid, of, you're afraid to, you know, um, maybe you're afraid to let happiness in. Maybe you're afraid to get in a commitment. Maybe you're afraid to, you know, let yourself fall in love because you're maybe you're afraid that once you fall in love, it'll just get ripped away. Yeah, I don't know. I feel as though right now you guys are resisting change. I think that you are stalling. You're in the period. You're stalling. You may be trying to, you know, stall somebody from or, or kind of like, you know, giving them very little just so they, they stay on the hook. You know, no, and sometimes you got to do that because you're working on yourself. So I'm not saying it's always a bad thing. I see that right now you're trying to make the right decision. You may be like, oh man, this is so good. This is a great opportunity and I want it. I do, I do. I'm very, I think you're very attracted, but there's fear it's in the way. Whew. Fear of change. And I feel like it is time. This is divine timing. This is a blessing. You will receive a blessing for... <clears throat> stepping over that edge for taking that risk so Aquarius I really feel like you have a big opportunity for love here that you know you really don't want to lose but if <clears throat> if you don't want to lose it you know I really feel as though oh, let's see You got to get unstuck. You got to step outside of your comfort zone. You need to see it for what it is. You do. Don't cheat yourself because of fears. I think for some of you, you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You do a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here as well. Fear of change, fear of growing old alone, fear of, you know, making the wrong decision. You know, we are, we have to take risks as we evolve. Or we, I mean, who wants to live with regret? You know, what if what if you never tried and you had to live with that for the rest of your life? I really feel like there's an opportunity for a huge love connection here that is. You know, I really feel, I mean, this is like a soulmate connection. It really is. You know, this is like, 
making a poor decision. So I think that you fear change and you fear about fear allowing happiness into your life. You know, right now you may be in a safety zone. Where it's safe. You got to let your guard down. You got to let, you got to step out of that safety zone and let this love. I think this is a good offer opportunity, a good love, love opportunity, which is, it's a, it's, it's a solid one. I do feel like it's a solid one. This is a month of, of making a decision, a heavy decision. Are you ready? Are you ready to get what you deserve? Or can you be honest with yourself? You have to make a choice. What do you deserve, Aquarius? What do you deserve? Because you have an opportunity for love here with somebody that you are very, very, very compatible with. Don't shut down emotionally because this person... It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And that's all that I can say. Anyway, let's get one of these for Aquarius. Opportunity for marriage. It could lead to marriage. It could lead to commitment. Definitely. Definitely. Worry. Oh, yes. Isn't that the truth? I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It doesn't step outside of your fears, okay? Stop cheating yourself of love by letting fear get in the way. I think that you guys have an attraction here that you want and you need to go get it. That's my take on that one. Good luck. 